did this the show sh- called Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah. And John Lithgow was the lead. It was about aliens. He was amazing. It was amazing, but he had to burp. Yeah. And I'm about to do something for you, Jen, and you're not going to like it. Oh, Lord. But get I that out did, of Get that out of the camera. Listen, I did the burp. Mm-hmm. Is this the secret? Oh, God. Are you going to fart next? Uh, oh. Terrible way to start. Yeah, I mean. But we did, Jen. I, it would have been better if it was a better burp. I'm well, trying you know, to impress I, you. I personally listen to podcasts before I go to sleep. <laughs> and that would have just woken me right up. I apologize to everyone. Disney. Oh, my God. If it's bad, you just say Disney. <laughs> About anything bad? I'm slightly embarrassed that the burp wasn't better. but No, the burp was good. Mm. Like As burps go, that was a good burp. It was just the but fact now that you I did put, it. Now you have to put your ass to the microphone and fart really loud. Okay. No, don't you dare. I will I will walk right out of this room. So this is a true story. Mel Brooks was my godfather, mm-hmm. and he would come over to the house, and he said to me and my brothers, whoever can fart first wins a dollar. Well, my brother Peter shit his pants, <laughs> and then I won a dollar. <laughs> that was going to be my next question. Who shit their... How long did it take for no, someone Peter to shit didn't. shart? But I I could burp and fart on cue. I mean, there's certain things... I'm so proud of as you. As a Deloise, thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, it's not an easy thing. Did you put that on your resume? Yes. Yeah. Burping and As farting on cue. Horseback riding, burping and farting and sharding. Okay, so. Yes. When did you rewatch episode two, My First Kiss? I, the First Kiss. It was just First Kiss. Mm-hmm. Get it Get it straight. Oh, my God. I oh just got God. fired. No. no. <laughs> I got, what? Um, I, so I rewatched it last night. Um, so it was fresh in my brain. Um, and... It was it was crazy to see because so right off the gate, right off the gate, right, right off out of the, the bat gate, and out of the gate, you I, put them together. I did. I, did. I made a, <laughs> I made a little new fun okay, thing. Jen. It's it's fine. I'll just see myself out. Um, no, but so Miranda in the episode is yeah. played by Lucy Hale, right. who most people know from Pretty Little Liars. And- David and Henry were. A, they were David and Henry. Now we're just joining things together. Wow. I don't know what's happening today. I'm out of my mind. Yeah. David Henry was new. dating Lucy Hale at the time. Yeah. Right? So that's that's part of why she was on the show. Right. Um, which was crazy because she was so not this like goth girl. So it was so fun to like see her. And she did a good job. She did a great job. Yeah. She did a really good job. Um, and then the the spell, the McReary Timeary spell, which by the way, the little the like, I, I don't. I'm gonna do a terrible impression, but the. What <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> What Jennifer just did is she raised her hands and made a really funny face and did the thing. But what it was yeah. is uh, uh, they said, David, you got to do some kind of action with the That's with the all spell. they said? They said, do some kind of thing. And then I put my hands in the air. I shook like, them like until they went down. Exactly. And then I, you know, like two pistols shot the spell out, you know. So it was McReary. Well, you can't do pistols on this. Timreary. Yeah, you're right. You you weren't allowed to do the peace you, sign you, or but anything. But you could do like that. Yeah, you could do a little thing. Yeah. I mean, I did that because I knew that Selena had to do the spell a bunch of times, so That's I was doing true. a little thing. But then she just, you know, did just it very quickly. It. She went McReary temporary. You know, yeah, like yeah. It didn't. Yeah, because you added pizzazz to it. Do it one more time. I want to see it. I, I see did it. a little pizzazz. Wait a minute. Show Are me the pizzazz. Show me the. Me? No, I okay. never make it. Okay, McReary temporary. Yes. And okay. that spell was named after. Gigi McCreary, one Ooh, of our writers. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it was a good. It was a good episode. Interesting because we shot the episodes out of order. Yeah. Uh, oh, we shot the episodes and then they placed them in the order they wanted. Do you remember when in the first season we shot that one? I have no memory of <sighs> no, that. No, I don't know. I mean, it was right, early. Cool. It was pretty early on. So our brain damage has kicked in full stop. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, the um, part of it was uh, uh, Jake was making a sandwich. Oh my god. Max. So to re- the max. Yes. So rewatching that cuz you guys said that to the max so many damn times that I could hear it yeah. in my brain like it was yesterday. I literally could hear to the max. Yeah, it was because a lot. you guys said it so many times just in the table read alone. I could hear that to the max, the three of you. You want to hear something weird? Yeah. The actor, I don't know his name, but there was people that came in and said, oh, this to the max sandwich. We want it because I'm the announcer for the New York Mets, 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 Mets. I wanted to say that. I wanted to say, because I said New York Mets. Well, because you just want to be an announcer in general. I know, right? I was like, that's, I want to do my comedy. I'm, I'm, (laughs) I'm wrong, but I think I did that. 
And I mean, this is silly, but I think I said that and then they took it and gave it to him. Yeah, yeah. You know? Who knows? Memory's but weird. Wayne Fetterman had mm-hmm. a line on the show and he was one of the tasters of the New York Mets thing. Yeah, there's like three I guys. had done the groundlings. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. When I was very young, uh, I had a baby. I was yeah. 21 when I had my first child and uh, I had to work. I mean, I didn't really have like a career i didn't make choices it's like i got a job i needed to pay for sure. the diapers and the whatnots and, and you know expensive. yes and but i was like here's a good thing for my career i'm gonna go do the groundlings it yeah. cost 450 dollars to do the course and yeah. i did it and i was like i'm gonna do this and wayne was my teacher who was awesome he, really yeah, nice yeah, guy yeah. very funny guy and then they failed me they were like you can't go to the next thing uh, so you have to do the, the you oh, have to do the thing. They so... wanted another four hundred and fifty dollars from me. But, you know? but, but did they fail you because I mean I don't know how well, much did know, they fail you because they, they didn't push me forward. You but know is that because I mean? they wanted more money or is that because you know that's a good question, Jen? I don't know, but I do love the fact that my teacher who didn't push me forward then was on my television oh. show doing a line. But it was I don't know. It's that a full circle moment, and and I'm sure you you felt a little. I felt good. You felt, yeah, you yeah. felt good. And, and, That's a nice way to put it. I'm, we became friends later, and, and it was it was not that we weren't friends, but you know, I just was a thing for me. It made me sure. feel good. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> that makes sense. It makes sense because also too, maybe you'd like grown in your comedy at that point. And anytime, like I feel like as an actor, like you get not that they meant it this way, but like you feel a sense of rejection of some kind. You sure. know what I mean? It's nice to feel it come full circle and be like, wow, we're on the same level. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? Exactly. Or, you know, and like that's- Or I'm better than you. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but you sure. <laughs> Improv is not easy. Improv it's is not hard. Easy. And, it's not and, easy. But Bill Cott, who played Mr. Larry Tate, yeah, yeah, yeah. is one of the best improv uh, the people oh out God. there. He's, He's the best. so funny. Okay, so there's Johnny Knoxville did a movie uh, about he, he was like the Special Olympics. It was the same the two yeah. brothers who that was a seamless transition, by the way. No, no, no but Bill <laughs> auditioned for the movie. Yeah, and I auditioned for the movie, and we screen oh, okay. tested the 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 people who did something about Mary. The, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're did about. this movie. Yeah, and I was doing the audition, and we were all in you know playing. By the way, the I have to say that the Special Olympics endorsed the film. They were happy yeah, with it. Yeah, because it wasn't, there was a lot of people from the Special Olympics. In yes, we're in yeah. the film. And, but Bill, Bill does this character that he did in the movie that is so funny to me that I couldn't oh, do. You couldn't like keep a straight face. I couldn't straight. Keep, keep laughing at him. Yeah. <laughs> he's a great movie. He's a great character actor. Yeah. I mean, like we've seen, he comes on later in the show from this episode, but like he, He's just a great character actor. I've seen him in so many things since Wizards yeah. that he's done. And yeah, like he just- He's a genius. He's, he's so great. With comedy. What was something that you remember about I this? remember many things, Jennifer Stone. Well, One very, of them mm-hmm. from this episode, which is just so funny to me, is David and Lucy are in the movie theater and he's trying to have his first kiss and everything. Which I have to say, David committed to that those bits. Because they were like kissing the foot, kissing the stomach. Yeah, the montage. The There's a kissing montage. The montage. But like the kissing fail montage. Yeah. And he really committed to that. And I I remember respecting him then. And rewatching it, I was like, wow, he did really commit. Yeah, he did. He did, which was interesting. Now that I've rewatched the show, we yeah. did do a couple of montages that were oh, we loved a montage. Yeah, we right? loved a montage. Right. Um and, and there's a part where one of his mistaken kisses is a big heavy guy's belly gets yeah, in the way of yeah. them. Yeah. But it's weird. If you watch it, like the guy's coming across and then the close up, he's 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 pushed it's, his belly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it logistically it didn't work. No. You know, but it's But still there was, was a few things like that where yeah. like the the close up or like the And I noticed David had a lot of energy. Justin Russo in the beginning, yeah. he was very, had a lot of like like uh, Disney energy on, on wonder, steroids kind of thing. Yeah, you know? I wonder, because there's, there's this idea, right, of like Disney acting. You know what I mean? Of like, oh, Disney acting is like really big and yeah. like, like not grounded, right? Um, and that was one of the reasons, to be honest, like before I got on Disney, like I, I know I've told you this, I used to make fun of it. You know what I mean? Like I used to be like, I'm never doing that. I'm a serious actor, you know? And I had a... I had an acting coach tell me like, 
get over yourself, basically. And she was absolutely right to say that. Um, but like the challenge with this is to make an over the top person grounded in reality. Right. And so I wonder if like in that first season, cause he did calm down. Like he did make it more grounded as the show went on. Yes. And I mean, I think that's him also embodying, we'll talk to him about that, but in embodying the, the character and getting to know it. Uh, True. Peter cause we Marietta, were all figuring that out. In the yeah, first of season, course. But Peter you know? Marietta, I wrote a, a, a pilot script, a, a thing about three uh, brothers and Peter Marietta, who was the showrunner yeah. of Wizards, um, said to me, if you can describe your character in one sentence, you know, whatever, the run on sentence, it's, it's a, yeah. well, just, just knowing that character and the character, one of the characters in the show was, uh, he has such a big heart, it gets in the way to his detriment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this guy, this character is always caring about someone. Yeah. Or there's the the therapist character who thinks too much. He's too cerebral. So um, did I say that right? Cere cerebral. Cerebral. Yeah. Um, that, that, that he's very intelligent, but it gets in the way of what's happening. So what was him. Jerry's one sentence? I don't know. I didn't create the okay. show, but we can ask Peter. I'm going to ask but him. But it was your character. But I would say. Because you know how there's like, sometimes there's a difference between he, the person that creates it and he, the person that takes it on. Oh God. This, I'm going to ask you this about Harper now too. But Jerry I know, I know Russo I asked this and I knew you were going to ask about it. Was extremely cheap, loved uh, uh, food. One sentence. I'm, I'm putting commas in there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a conjunctions. Like a, uh, a, uh, Cheap foodie who loved his kids. Oh, oh I, 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 I know. Say this. this. A crazy kooky dad who teaches yeah. his kid magic. I love That's it. That's what I used to say. I love it. I said, because I've said this to you before on other episodes that I, I had passed on, on yeah. the part, you yeah. know. And, You've made that very clear to uh, me. Okay. You know. Oh, that's not like an asshole. But <laughs> I remember no, I don't. was doing a movie actually, and um, they offered me the part mm -hmm. and I called my brother Peter and I said, Hey Peter, they offered me this part. I don't know exactly what to do. They, you know, uh, I mean, there's like, they're really offering me a very low amount of money. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, well, what's the part? And I go, well, it's a yeah. crazy kooky dad who's teaching his kids magic and, and it'd be really fun to do that. And he goes, I think you just answered your question, yeah. you know? So well, it's that whole thing of like, you either do it for the money, the people or the part. Oh, I've never heard that. You've never heard that before? No, I'm, I and I'm that. 51 years old. That's so the shows on Disney go three to four years and... No. Um, <laughs> no, but like that's... Somebody told me that and it was really great advice. If you take a job for one of three reasons, the money, the people you're working with, or the part you get to play. Yeah. And, I, and that was always really helpful. So for me, if I pass on something, it's because it doesn't hit one of those three things. Right. Okay, so what's Harper's one line or something? Um, there's going to be commas. Um... <laughs> She is the surface optimist with internal demons that's very creative and the friend that you would always want. Oh my God, that was very deep and very accurate. Well, but that was what something I talked about with Peter a lot about how Harper, I always loved the moments because she was always so bright and cheery. And then she would have these moments where she would get very dark. Yeah. And those uh, that always was something, especially with, you know, my drama background that I was like, oh, I love the dark. <laughs> I love the darkness, even though it was like comedic, you know? Um, and I love too, like the, the part, the times where she would get really angry, like with the, with the whole like first season where she was like obsessed with Justin, which yeah. kind of, I think was Zeke sort of like phased out, but, um, was she like just psychotic, you well, know what I mean? Where she's the, the, the movie theater seat. Yeah. Well, this, this, this episode. Yeah. She's he's trying to kiss Lucy Hale. Yeah. And the whole time, like even there's a <laughs> scene where, where he's, he's like trying to kiss and you're like, uh, um, you know, uh, she's got nothing on this, or he's he's mine. I love you. Said she's Even, got nothing on this. And well, like this. you were referring to your clothes. Sure, you know? sure, sure. But but the the um. He, even though I think you said something like, even though he doesn't know he's my boyfriend, that doesn't matter or something like that, right? <laughs> Psychotic. Psychotic. Yeah. Totally. That's like yeah. you. That that show, yeah. right? Um, so. I laughed so fucking hard, Jen, when you were. I'm looking and I'm like that theater seat is jennifer <laughs> and you've got the popcorn and yeah. you're like exactly you know meshed yeah. in and well, so you are moving over and yeah. you slip and selena laughs was that a real slip? yes that was a real fall and i was so i remember being very proud of that at the time because i i've always been because i remember i know i've talked about this before but like i was new to comedy and so for me comedy if there was anything about it it was commitment 
So I like had to commit. You stay in it. You stay in it. Right. Like that. And that was my thing. Like you got to stay in it. And so it always would like drive me nuts when other actors would break. Cause I'm like, no, or they like, they would call cut. Cause I'm like, this is a comedy. Cause I was such a bougie. The actor. director calls cut, not the actor. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. It makes me crazy when actors call cut. Cause I'm like, that's, you just stay in it. Cause that's, yeah. you never know what you're going to get. Right. Um, so yeah, I was going through the thing and I was trying to be laser focused on Justin. So I'm like going through the thing and I, I trip because I'm a very graceful person. <laughs> and 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 I stayed in it and Selena, the laugh that she does is genuine. And I love that moment. Yeah. And that's something to me that I'm like, that's why you stay in it. Exactly, because you, you get those genuine moments. So like yeah. like uh, um, a pretty woman. Yes. When she's going yeah. to touch the thing that she didn't know. And yeah, that was, ah! like, that was me and Selena's pretty mo- woman moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what was how annoyed were you saying to the max 10,000 times <sighs> An- annoyed it was a lot you know but it's it's interesting rewatching the show is funny because you have a you have a or i have an idea of yeah. what it was and i'm so happy that we're doing this because now i'm enjoying it you know and yeah. i'm laughing and of course my wife is laughing at me laughing at myself but <laughs> i just I, you know, sometimes in life I say something and I laugh and I yeah. enjoy it. It's good. We're supposed to enjoy ourselves, right? Well, I mean, but life is ridiculous and you got to laugh at how ridiculous you can be. You right. know what I mean? And right. and I think, I think it's beautiful now that we're all in a different stage in our life to like get to enjoy that with the people that we've added to our life that weren't there at the time and yeah. the new people that we've become and you know what I mean? And, and I think that we can really enjoy it with the distance that we have you know yeah and you were very funny there were many things that i laughed out loud oh, especially the the mcmurray i don't know why i make this into a seizure you're also you're the uh, i didn't remember because when i, I saw about it, that too you, you had an outfit uh, another outfit somehow you changed <laughs> you're not a wizard but somehow you changed from the outfit <laughs> i was magical of, in my person and then you you matched the theater which again wall, i very i was very committed and then you pop out and you pour the, the, the shake smoothie. or slushy yeah, on his head. I remember, I I don't, again, this may be my memory just being like creating its own, because again, memory is weird, right? It like kind of creates its own story. Um, but I remember David Henry getting like really upset about some well, way the, that the like way the smoothie the boy, had I fallen remember, I watched something. this very specifically. Okay. You did not go on the top of his head. Yeah. You went more kind of on the, like the just above his forehead thing. Yeah. It was a good pour. But to me, I'm like, if it goes at the top, it's going to go in the back. It's not going to read. Which is very kind and considerate. And, well, and for comedy. Was, that's not what I was thinking Okay, but, but I was thinking about how it was going to read and be the funny I, And I'm not talking about for David. I'm talking oh, okay. about for the people that have to redo the outfit and everything. Totally. Do you remember? Did did you do it once and then move uh, on? No, I think we did it a couple times. But I just, I, there was something about one of the times, I, like I said, and maybe this happened, maybe it didn't, I don't know. But like, I just remember one of the times, like I poured the slushy and it went like front. And I remember him being like mad about where it fell. And I just but remember But it was all being scripted like, and that's what you're was supposed all, to do. That's what you signed up for. I'm like, you kissed a stomach. Calm down. <laughs> Get out of here. But he was also like, what, 17 at the time, you know? Yeah, 17. And and I, I've, I've said this on another episode, but but I was, I think, 35 or 36. So, okay, I'm not going to do any math. But I was technically too young per Disney standards yeah. to have had a kid. Yeah. You know, so I was playing older. And I think. I think Maria is older than than I am. I don't know how. Don't old she you is. dare say that on here. Uh, uh, she will Disney. She will she will apparate and fight <laughs> you so hard. Ah, uh, it's so funny. I love how um, Disney Plus now, uh, uh, like it's the one liner of the episode. Uh, Alex uses wizardry to protect David from his first kiss. You know, to and to it help switches, him. It switches out the characters and the actors' names too. <laughs> that's sorry. so not I'm sorry, cool I'm such an asshole. listen i'm tired today i'm okay. a little out of it because i had to stay up with tony well yeah it's very... Here's my son who has hair and looks like a dog <laughs> who is a dog yeah being a dog dad's exhausting <laughs> he's a mini docks and long hair and yeah. he's adorable he's the cutest yeah. cutest and if you want to see a picture of him mm-hmm. you have to go to our wizards of waverly pod instagram you have, if you're gonna say the name you got to do the announcer voice Oh, okay. Come on, come on. Go to Wizards of <laughs> Waverly Pod. 
with Jennifer Stone with All right, too David much, too Deloitte. Much, too, much. too much? Too much. Yeah, back it up. Uh, but he's adorable. He's really he, cute. But, but here's the best thing yeah. about having a dog rather than a kid. He's <laughs> never going to look at me and tell me to go fuck myself. I swear to God. He the might. best. He when might I get, be, when listen, he barks at you, maybe that's what he's saying. When I get home, Jen, yeah. he he wiggles his tail so much that his entire back, his entire butt goes back and forth and he's so excited yeah. to see me and it feels so good. Yeah. My daughter goes like, this huh i'm in my room door slam you know yeah. it's different well yeah. they're old now they're 25 and 29 Hi, they're geriatric. potty trained yeah yeah geriatric um but yeah it's yeah. it's it's exhausting well and especially having a puppy too it's a lot of responsibility you, you're, not, you're not still potty training though right uh no no, no, no. He's, i haven't yeah he's totally 11 months you're done. but it was weird in the beginning mm -hmm. he wouldn't go to the bathroom yeah. away from the house not inside the house okay but he would only go like in the vicinity uh, in the vicinity yes okay. thank you over, in, the, in, the, help me. In, in the perimeter of the house <laughs> <laughs> when he goes to the bathroom oh like random places now yeah. i'm thrilled okay so the way i broke him of that i know it's the wizards of waverly pod but i'm going to talk no, to you, you about talk, tony because he's my life right now okay <laughs> I wish I you guys like, could see, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm gonna interrupt you. I wish you could see David's amazing Tony purse. I do have a Tony purse. It's a really, it has it's all a the great, things you need. Yeah. As a dog dad, you need water, treats, leash, this, All the that, dog dads and moms are sitting there going, yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if he gets hungry. I'm a cat or, mom, so I don't know. Okay, so they, they just stay home, you leave yeah, for months at a time. Yeah, they stay home, they shit time. on my floor and they vomit. I had a cat one time who would pee on my mail. That's because right. my mail would go through the Was it mail from the IRS? No. Okay. It well, was then from just what's anybody. The what's the point? But it's the word cat uh, urine is the worst. It's pretty bad. It's I've pretty gone bad. Gone down a rabbit hole, haven't you I? You have. You have. So your dog's urine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when when Tony would go to the bathroom away from that, or now that he does, yeah, I, I get so excited. You don't a little party. I, I'm I'm that guy. I, I love mean, it. Whatever. But here's the thing. Like this is. I mean, all right. I'm gonna throw a little Deloise party real quick. What I've always loved about you is you were just so, I don't want to say young at heart, but like you have, like there's such, I don't even know like how, like the right way to word it, but like there's just such like a genuineness where like you always like appreciate and, and love like the little things in life and you can really always see that. And I feel like it's the same thing I see you with Tony where you're like, you celebrate him like peeing outside the perimeter of the house. Yeah, and like, I do celebrate the little yeah, things. Yeah, you've always been really good at that. So no, I love that. And you're very practical and realistic and Sometimes too much so. And funny. Yeah, but it's it's a good, it's a wonderful trait yeah, to have. Sometimes I need to chill. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. In relation to the episode, <clears throat> McReary time Reary mm -hmm. reverses time. For yeah. like 13 seconds, so you can fix a mistake. Is it 13 seconds. No, you know what it is. The galaxy, galaxy. There's a there's a movie where they, oh, the Kobayashi movie. There's a there's a Star Trek movie or something where they where they um are able to go back time and fix something. Yeah, this like, one. This one. Galaxy would just Quest. Go, yeah, this one would just go back for a little bit, but it's right. similar. It didn't yeah, have yeah. a specific, but no. in that movie, it was 13. Seconds yeah, no, this was, right. but it was a similar time. Frame. So, is there anything in your life that you oh, would have used McReary time Reary on? Well, gonna... considering that's a great question. Considering it's only like 30 seconds or something, I joke that I chronically have my foot in my mouth to the point that it needs to be surgically removed so you need to use the spell over and over over and over again where i like say something and then i go oh no that's awful i hate that there was a there was a friend of mine whose dad um was on like a successful tv show and like that was like whatever and i and i when i get uncomfortable i like we talked about like when you get uncomfortable sometimes comedy is like your defense your mechanism. right so i was at this party where i didn't know a lot of people and the show was on in the background, like something else we were watching and then that came on after. Your friend's My dad friend's show. dad show. Got it. And I said something where I was like, who watches this stuff? This shit is horrible. I hate this thing. Did you know that it was? No. Oh. No. And so. Now I know why. <laughs> so, and then nobody said anything. And because nobody said anything, I got more nervous. And so I kept just digging the hole deeper and deeper. And I was like, he's not even funny. I don't oh, get why God. he's famous. Like, why did, why did this show ever? And the show ran for years. And like literally, I was like, why? Like, I don't get this guy at all. And then all I hear is this one voice going, you know that's our dad, right? And I was like, who? Like, I just wanted to like beeline out really the door. Are you really not going to tell us no. what show or who it was? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Mm. Can we just get a, a 
pretend synopsis of the show so I could guess later? Was anybody running on the beach? No. Okay. No, it wasn't Baywatch. Was anybody living in a very expensive like this laugh, this is uh, good. loft in the in New York City? No. Without a job? That was Friends, oh, by the way. No, no, no. It okay. wasn't that one. It wasn't New York, though. I know it wasn't Seinfeld because you've never Seinfeld, seen that show. I haven't seen that show. All right, I'll keep guessing. Yeah, keep guessing. Eventually. Yeah. What would you What would you reverse? <laughs> so many things. All the things you asked the question. You know, I was gonna. I don't want to say my answer because it's just not right. <sighs> well, do do your backup answer. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna be real. Oh, uh oh, okay. I, 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 and dolls. I don't think it could have happened to, you know, I need more than 30 seconds, but I would not have married uh, uh, the woman that I, I had my children with because she was a bad, not a good person. She was mm. not capable of putting my children's needs before her own. But you were also in your early 20s. I mean, how do you, like, I think about the people I dated yeah. in my early 20s, and if I had married them, like, they're totally different people right. now. You're right. I listen. You know? I should have. I, I, I Mick Rory, time Rory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go back. But, but, but my point is, like, don't judge yourself too much. Because, like I said, who you were and like the tools you have in your yeah. early twenties. Yeah. So hold on, I will charge you for this hour. <laughs> no, but like, it, but, but <laughs> seriously, I lay down? Should yeah, I lay down? yeah, yeah. Um, no, but seriously, like, like you know, you, you don't have like the tools, and I feel like you don't know what to protect yourself from. Sure. Have you ever thought of when you were in a relationship with yeah. someone that this is the guy yeah. I want to marry? Yeah. I, I had people, I had people, I mean, hell, there was my like first like relationship that I had. Um, I was like, this is the guy. And now I see him and I'm like, oh, hell no. Thank the Lord. That What a, what a saving grace that I didn't marry mm. that guy, you know? Interesting. I mean, I have great taste in men, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I wanted to tell you something about this episode where yeah. I'm saying you're not allowed to use the spell and the whole thing is that Selena's Alex, what are we doing here? Are we saying yeah. Alex or Selena? Well, yeah, they're, or? they're interchangeable. Not okay. that they're the same person, but like we think of them but as so, like, so, you know. So Alex is using the spell to help her brother. Yeah. But then she gets in trouble Yes. because I come in. Oh, and then I say to her, how many times have you done it? And she says, 17. I'm like, 17? I guess one more time is okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, even though I'm saying, don't do this, it's bad, I, I But that made sense to me. To do, that it makes sense to you? Yeah, to maybe me, I'm there's like, another. Because to me, like, actually, I really liked that moment because to me, there were so many moments, especially in the first season, where I could see you building the dynamic between you and the kids, right? So like you and, and Max and, and David and Selena and, and, and all of that. And that was one of those moments where you set aside this like austere, like I have to be the teacher and all this kind of stuff. And you right. just saw your son having his first kiss. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to me, like I was okay with that kind of flipping the script, so to speak, because you saw that it was like, all oh, right, you know, like, and to me that was definitive later on of who Jerry was of like, it was about family first. Yes. Family first. Magic sure. second, you yeah. know, crazy family first. Yeah. Well, Jerry's crazy. Yeah. What? What? Who, me? <laughs> me? I'm uh, spending too much time with you because it, literally it, now I'm going, me? Hey, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm starting, I'm starting I, to. I'm sorry? No, it's not a bad thing. I'll, I'll take I it all day think, long. And correct me if I'm wrong, Mark Sandrowski was the director of that episode. I think so, who went episode. on to do Big Bang. Every episode of Every that, Every episode right? of Big Bang Theory. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, before we wrap it up, mm -hmm. well, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Hmm. Huh. I remember it well. It was with a, a girl named Danielle Stein, who's now you calling her out? Shit. Okay. No, I've seen her, and I was oh, like, "Oh okay. my god, hey, hey, how are you? Remember me from the past?" <laughs> um, but she was my girlfriend. Okay. I think I was in fifth grade or something, sixth grade. I was young. Yeah. And she came to my birthday party, and she in my birthday card. This is a oh, lot well, of information. Yeah, I know. Look at you. <laughs> I'm getting rid like of Like I said, cards. I am going to charge you for this card. <laughs> okay. But I think in the birthday card, she wrote, love, Danielle. Aww. And that was- How that old was were like, you? I was in like fifth grade. How oh old were you in fifth God. grade? Like what? I, I don't know. I think I was a 12, 11? Sure. Whatever. I was young. It's like 11. You know? I think it's 11. And when she left the party, she went to go give me a kiss and I gave her a cheek. 
Oh. Isn't that? Oh, you cockblocked yourself. Oh, my God, Jen. You McReary did? time Reary. <laughs> so I uh, I got a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. But I, I, I have a mutual friend with her now. And, and um, yeah, I think I... I I told her that story and she laughed and she's that's really, really sweet. sweet. It's a big executive yeah. person now. Well, good for Sony, her. You know, if she's listening, um, you could give me a job. Oh my god, you have a job. I do. We're very busy I with this, know. sir. You, what, okay, your I, your perfect job, acting wise, not not nursing, uh, yeah. or that field. But what's your uh, like? I want this job. This would be the perfect thing for me. I. Two th- two thoughts. One, I love like Wizards was an ensemble, right? It was a beautiful, perfectly balanced ensemble, and I love that because to me, one of my favorite things about being an actor is the collaboration, right? And I love actors that are just there to be actors. So for me, I, I would just love to be in another ensemble that allows me to play a little bit, maybe a dramedy where it allows me to play with both comedy and drama, um, and also too, like I, on the other side of because. I do think it would be really beautiful to mix my love of healthcare and my love of acting. Right. And and allow for representation for, you know, diabetes cuz that's that, to be able to bring all of those things in my life into to telling stories, which is what I my first love was, to me would be the ultimate job. Like if I could be on a show that highlighted nursing and show what it was like Truly, not like an after school special of like, oh, the Julia Roberts and, and, you know, Steel Magnolias where she's like, I've got low blood sugar, you know, and like everyone's free. Like, I'm like, that's not anybody. I don't know what that is. Um, But like to truly show what it's like on a day to day basis, Uh, not only being a nurse, but also being a diabetic and getting to show that in telling stories to me would be the perfect just like culmination of my life. I think we need to create a show, Jen. I've thought about writing it because ain't nobody going to write it for me, you know. <laughs> have, you um, written, have you written uh, uh, yeah. scripts before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend and I co-wrote my one summer off from nursing school. We co-wrote um, like a, I, I almost said a field trip movie, a road trip movie um, about, because she has CRPS, which is a chronic pain syndrome. Mm. And um, we both were talking about the lack of representation where it's accurate because all the time these these conditions are brought up and it's like an after school special, right. which is such a bummer where it's like, oh, no, it and then that's what everybody be. thinks. And that's what everybody thinks. And that's how everybody's idea of it. And so we wanted to tell a story that wasn't about that, but showed characters that that was just a part of their life. Right. So we, we we yeah, we wrote this movie on my one summer off, which was my first summer off since I was in grade school because I had to do summer school during Wizards because we never had enough time time, right yeah we never had enough time to do school um so yeah i've I've written before and and i enjoy it i like being part of it thank you no we made it we made it oh you did that was the movie right yeah that was good thank you you did such a great job i didn't realize that you wrote yeah we co-wrote it together nice yeah have you ever you've written things was there a was there was there a part in it for me that (laughs) (laughs) i'm always that guy it was but it was very it was I mean, we shot two weeks over like 1,500 miles that we drove. So it was a rough shoot. So I think we were a cast of all of like three or four. Oh, no, no, it's okay. You didn't cast me. It's fine. It's fine, Jen. Check, please. He's going to hold his vendetta for the rest (laughs) of my life. I have written some things, but nothing's uh, come to fruition. But I did, with my wife, produce a scripted podcast called Grandma for President. Yeah. And that was really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. acted, you know, produced, uh, did the casting, did all the stuff. Oh, my God. SAG makes it so hard to get everything done. You have to... There, there is no box to check in the SAG stuff for a scripted podcast. I know. So you have to like try to talk to somebody there. And well, because that was the whole like SAG. Well, we won't go down that rabbit hole, but like the whole SAG after a thing. It's tough. Um, okay, my dear. Well, I've I really enjoyed watching. Oh, listen, I, I'm I'm very happy to go. I gotta go home to Tony wagging his butt. You do so he can pee way outside <laughs> of your house. He wants. Well, um, I, I need one more question though. Oh Lord. What's when my was, social security number? Yes. When was your first kiss? Oh, Lord. Um, I was always boy crazy, which w- rewatching the first season, I look at all the guys that were like Selena's love interest, and I was like, had a crush on him, had a crush on him, <laughs> had a crush on him. Um, but I was seven, and oh, I remember- I was very young. I, I, was, I was always really into boys. Uh, it served me well. 
Um, but I, I, um, Remember I had a crush. His name? I'm not gonna name him. Ah! Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not pulling any. Um, but I, I had had a crush through on him all through kindergarten, and I remember thinking, you know, I've I've sat on this long enough. I got to do something. Oh my so god! So first grade, the first day of first grade, I pushed him against the fence and kissed him. And of course, he ran away and screamed cooties. And that's amazing. That's you been really, the dynamic pretty much aggressive. ever since. <laughs> yeah, I chase what I like, and they go, oh god, cooties. That's uh, pretty much been the dynamic. Yeah. Well. Um, I'm glad that you were bold and you, 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 yeah. you put your head in the, yeah. In and the failed there. miserably. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're saying failed miserably, but I'm saying, I think it's such a great thing that you did and, and shows the character no. that you have Thank to you. follow your heart. Yeah. You know, now I'm trying to get that back, but I, I didn't fail as miserably as kissing a shoe or a stomach. So that's good. <laughs> right. All right. Go back to Tony. Okay. Go give him lots I'm of I'm very busy, Jen. I've got a yeah. lot going on. You've got a full Rolodex. No one knows what that is. I'll see you next week. Yeah, we will. I know what a Rolodex is. I know, is. but I'm, nobody else knows what a Rolodex is. They don't even know what a boop, boop, boop is. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get out of here. All right. Love you. Love you too. Hey, hey. <laughs> Like I said, I, I've got to stop spending time with you. I keep making. Music. I haven't done any uh, substance right now, but I feel like substanced. Oh, you feel like <clears throat> sauced? It's all Tony's fault. It is. It is. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Get now. out of here. Mm. Well, he's. We're gonna have to drag his ass out of here. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining Deloise and I. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you just can't get enough of us and. Maybe if you can, I don't know. But either way, for extra juicy, awesome bonus content, join our Patreon. 